to paint the inside of the eye sockets with this red. There we are. Next, the colour we're using, Abaddon Black. And this, we're going to splatter on all the areas that are, that's going to be smoke. There's a lot of this going to be used. In fact, so much so, I'm not even going to try and dry this, uh, wash this brush at the moment. I'm going to use the paint that's on it. And we're going to start from the bottom here. And work our way up. Okay, we're getting very close to the end of this particular part. Um, I have noticed that I have missed some areas that should be painted in the flame colours, so I'm going to be going back to those in a moment. Um, I've also noticed there's, a, there's a, a chain as well that I've missed, which is sticking out of the smoke there. So I'll be going, that, going back to that as well. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I get everywhere that I need to get before I get on with the next bit. Um, I think, or I hope, that is everything. Not quite. And if you notice, I have actually caught some of the the red with um, the black, but I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. I'm going to see what I'm going to do about that in a, in a bit later. Um, as you can see, the, that should be flame. I think I've got everything that I need to do. So, once again, back into the flame colours, yellow, orange and red. And I do like draw, uh, painting things like this because it gives a little bit of excitement a little bit of no, a little bit of action with some of the with the mini um, a lot of movement right, there's a little bit of black actually seeps into that so I'll wait for a bit before I go any further with it because I need to have that flame colour 
quite crisp. So, next job, we're going to back, go back into our um, dry brush. Oh, no, we don't. I need to go into the wall plot bronze and get that piece of chain painted. There we go. That will do. Looking a bit good now, isn't he? <laughs> so, now, as I say, back into our dry brush. Abaddon Black. Yes, we're doing a dry brush of Abaddon Black. And what's that over? That is over on the skin areas. I want to make it look as though the skin is breaking up and there's fire and lava breaking through. So I've not really done anything like this. Before I'm enjoying the difference. I have, I have kind of like, I think I have actually done this technique on another mini. I think it was possibly from one of the D&D ones. Um, can't quite remember which one, but... It might have been a elemental of some such. I may be wrong, I'm not using that out of the palette because it's getting a little bit watery. I'm just going to go straight into the pot and use it straight out of there because it's a lot thicker and a lot drier so it won't spread too much oh yeah, I'm not really fussed if I go over the wall plot bronze I just needed a fairly dark colour to base it. the highlighting stage of bringing really bright greys in hence the ultimate grey I will be bringing this up to a much brighter colour later on 
because you can kill it too much if you use um, a lot of black. Um, so the smoke is going to be um, brightened up quite a bit. May add a little bit of a brownie colour in as well. You never know. We'll see how we go. I've shown you the basic colours. We can play about as well. And I'm going to add a little bit more. to the edge of the um, edge of the flames there we go now let's see if we can get this um, flame duster flame at the back of his head sorted out this time Fingers crossed. Should be dry enough by now. Oops. So I haven't realised I was off camera then. yellow I think I want a dry brush a bit more with the flame rather than using um, wet blending speaking of dry brush let's do a little bit more shall we I'm going to use a bigger dry brush for this part and let's go with inky by darkness one I don't really use. I have yet to do the um, in fact let's not use that one yet we'll do that one a bit later on. Let's use Eshin Grey. So we'll add that to our palette. Wax on wax off kind of thing. Starting from the top and work downwards, and I mean downwards. We're not trying to highlight from the bottom of the mini upwards, we're down highlighting from the top of the mini down. So we need to have downward strokes. I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be flame or not. I'm beginning to think it does look like it. So I think we'll be going over to Ulthman Grey or White a little sooner than I had anticipated. the thing when it comes to painting minis you have your plans on doing something and the, the mini itself actually says no you don't you're not doing what you want so you'll do what I tell you you can do <laughs> um, 
So that's taken a lot of the black off. I'm also going to quickly go over the hands as well and some of the high points. We'll get that as flame because it brightens your top. It looks too dark and dismal. At the time being, so let's get the fourth one grey out, which is that colour. We've seen this one before. chewing gum white. I'm going to start right from the bottom and work our way up. You know what? It's a different design to what the flame is so I'm not doing that. Change my mind again. Let's do it. Not as though the the flames being drawn up somewhat. While we're waiting for that to work, let's get into the orange. And Venture into the unknown with Inky by Darkness. Not quite a bit of this on the palette. And again, we're just going to move down and give the, the smoker a slightly bluish greeny tint. And again, just on the higher edges. Stand out a little bit more. I have changed my mind about that. Oops, I've changed my mind about that white. I'm not being flame, I'm going to take it back to black. I'm not. I know it might brighten it up if I do it first flame, but it's not. I can tell it's not now I've done it so. 
I'm just going to wash that off and then we just get some of the upper done black off the palette I'm just going to keep going at this um, I know the white or the both one grey isn't dry as yet um, so I'm just going to say I'm going to keep bashing at this until it's until it gets to black I just want to take off that white because it's distracting me okay so that's what we have so far I'm going to get my slightly smaller dry brush I'm going to the Inky by Darkness and just touch on I say the raised areas yep um, and Ali has given me instructions as to which of the Titans I'm to paint. <laughs> so I hope you agree with her. Um, on this, uh, we have the next one all lined up ready. It just needs to be. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It just needs to be primed. to give this a dry brush a wash and get into the black once more because I've forgotten to do the hand on the side as you can see I'm not being too heavy handed with it We do need more black on the palette. If for no other reason, put the cover up here. Um, and I will be going down again with the ashen grey once it's dried. And the Yankee Bay Darkness. That's that bit done, yeah. Quite happy with that. Next, let us go with a slightly smaller um, dry brush when I can find it. There we are. It was pointed the other way, and we'll get the scythe done. And again, we just need black. So I'm not going to go over with any other colour for this. I'm 
rather than red, just to make it stand out a little from his, um, shall we say, skin tone. I'm going to do it as um, a yellow blade. Um, I seem to be knocking everything off at the moment. I'm just going to do it this, like this at the moment, um, just so I can get the blade sorted out, or the blade done, rather. Um, I will be going back to actually painting the um, the black much stronger along these areas. I want this on solid black, like the smoke. This is a very dark mini by the way, just in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> but there we are. We just keep working at it and working at it and working at it until we get to the point where we can say, yep, I like it, I don't think I can do anything more with it to make it better. And that's the time when you say, it's finished. There is another time when you can say it's finished, when you, when you look at it and think, if I do that to it, and I do that to it, it'll have that effect, and and everything is painted, and it's looking nice, and all you're doing is fiddling. When you start having to, when you start feeling as though you're fiddling with the, um, when you're fiddling with it, then that's it. Leave it alone. There's a, there's a very fine difference between doing the f um, fine details and fiddling. actually looking for things and purposefully looking to try and find fault with it so you can do something else that's when you know you're fiddling and that's when one other another way you know that your mini's done if you've been enjoying doing it too much and you're looking When your heart's telling you it's done, but you're looking for ways to finish. It's finished. Oh, yeah. 